Hello, I'm Daniil, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice, and I want to tell you a story about the Maggot of Kuznets, and I continue it in my series of stories with respect to the Maggot of Kuznets, Yisroel of Kuznets. One day, a simple man, a man of the earth, an Amoritz, uh, he brings his wife in front of the Maggot of Kuznets. He says, Rabbi Yisroel, I want a divorce. I've had it. I want a divorce. Rabbi Yisroel says, why? What's, why? He says, I can't stand it anymore. I come home on Friday night. My wife makes a beautiful dinner. She has a fish and a main course, a wonderful challah, beautiful, fantastic. It's so amazingly good. And it's so delicious that when it gets time to the dessert, I'm full and I can't have the dessert. All week, I've been thinking about and looking forward to this dessert, and I can never have it. I've told her, serve the dessert first. I'll do the kiddush, we'll do the, do the homoitzi, we'll do the blessing over the wine, we'll do the breast of the bread. Serve the dessert first. She won't do it. She says, no, this is the way I do it. This is the way my mother did it, and my booby did it. and my, This is the way I do it. She won't listen. I want a divorce. The Maggot of Kosnitz says, okay, this is what you do. He speaks to the wife. He says, from now on, I want you should make two desserts. One you serve right away, right at the beginning. As soon as he does Kiddush, as soon as he does the benediction over the wine, as soon as he does Hamoitzi the, uh, over the bread, first thing, serve one dessert. And the second one, you serve in the usual manner, that's your family tradition, at the end of the meal. Does that sound good? They both agree, and they both leave. Immediately, the Maggot of Kuznets goes to his wife. He says, this is what I want you to do from now on. I want you to make your beautiful dessert like they always do. Make two. One I'm going to have right after Kiddush. I make the, the, the kid the blessing over the wine. We'll do the hamoitzi, the blessing over the challah. Right off the bat, I want the dessert. The second one is the way you've always done it. And this became uh, Rabbi Sroil, the Maid of Kosnitz's custom. And it became the custom of his children and of his grandchildren. And it was known throughout the family as the Sholem Bias dessert, the household peace dessert. This is the compromise that we have to make um, in order to have uh, a happy home, um, people sometimes ask why a mezuzah is on an angle? Why is it not up and down? Why is it not across? What's with the angle? There was actually a dispute between Hillel and Shammai. Hillel says it should be up and down. Shammai says, nope, it should be flat. They couldn't reconcile. So over the ages, uh, our sages have said, listen, what we're going to do is, on the mezuzah, we're going to tilt it 45 degrees, as much as we can, to 45 degrees, as a compromise between Hillel and Shammai, and also as a lesson to us, that every time we come into our home, we must compromise for the sake of Sholem Bias, for the sake of household peace, the peaceful running of the home. Uh, let us keep these two uh, in mind, the, uh, the dessert and the mezuzah, as we, uh, as we live our lives. Sometimes we have to compromise. Uh, we have to give in. And sometimes the other person has to give a little this way. And uh, the hope is that we achieve shalom bias, household peace. Um, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.